Hey my friends, today is part two of a clean and organized collaboration hosted by Penny over at Penny's Lifestyle Living, as well as a number of other co-hosts. And today, as you can see, I am in my bathroom. I'm going to clean the bathroom, it needs to be clean. And I'm also going to show you uh, just a few of the ways that I have my bathroom organized. It's not so much that it needs to be decluttered and organized as much as it just needs to be cleaned. So today I'm gonna take you along with me, but first let me go ahead and I'm gonna get some dinner put in the crock pot first. Tonight for dinner, I'm making white chicken chili. This is a super easy recipe. You can do it in the crock pot, in the instant pot, or on the stove. But I figured since I was gonna be busy today with cleaning, I would just stick it in the crock pot and not have to worry about it. But if you want to see how I make this, I will put a link to that video in the description box below. Also, you're probably wondering what is the aluminum foil doing over my thumb? I'm in the middle of trying to take off my dip color on my nails. So yeah, that's what that's there for. I have been seeing for a while, everybody using this pink stuff. So I decided to give it a try. I found this on Amazon, the four pack, and I'll link it below. So I'm excited to start using it. It's the cream cleaner, the multi-purpose cleaner, the bathroom foam, and the paste. So yeah, so I am cleaning the bathroom today. So I'm gonna use this bathroom foam and I can't wait to see how good it works. Let's go. Before I get started cleaning and turning into a hot mess, I just wanna go ahead and make sure that you know that I will have Penny, uh, Penny's YouTube channel listed in the description box below, as well as all of the other co-hosts that are taking part in this collaboration. So please make sure that you go down there, check out the playlist, check out all the other uh, co-hosts and host channels make sure you tell them that I sent you and make sure to show them a little bit of love give their videos a like subscribe to their channel if you're not but anyway let's go ahead and tackle the bathroom All right, this is what it looks like right now um, I just need to remove the, um, the washcloths have some batteries over here that I use because I have all these candles, these battery operated candles that I like to keep around my bathtub. And so when I took down all my Christmas decorations, there were some things that the batteries were still good. So I just brought them in here, but I need to do some with that. So clean my bathtub, the shower, I'm gonna clean the exterior, but the interior is my husband does that because he, is the main one that uses the shower. So he cleans that. And then I just need to pick up a couple of things here, but clean all that. And then of course I'm going to sweep, well vacuum and mop the floors. keep my bath bombs in this jar um, by my bathtub and I got some for Christmas and I had a few that I had not put in the jar so I need to put those where they belong. I 
Don't know why you left me bleeding With a broken heart to me if I deserve this feeling I love my big bathtub, but it is a bear to clean. And Epsom salts are a part of my nightly bath time ritual, so I just have to refill this jar. In addition to using the Pink Stuff uh, bathroom cleaner, I'm also using my Mrs. Meyers Peppermint all-purpose cleaner. I'm just trying to use that up instead of having to put it back into the cabinet. I'm just trying to use it up. But um, let me know in the comments below if you have used the Pink Stuff bathroom foam. I'm not sure if I like the smell of it. I can't figure out what it smells like but i'm not sure if i'm a fan so let me know what you think does all of the pink stuff products smell the same way all right at this point i needed to stop and um, take care of the crock pot meal. I just needed to shred the chicken and also um, mash the beans so that I can add the cream cheese and then add it back to the soup and let it finish cooking. Feelings change and love can go, but tell me why are you so cold? What did I wrong? Now, I have my Tenko mop that I use to vacuum and mop the rest of the house, but my hair comes out so much, so I wanted to vacuum it before I used the Tenko because cleaning out all that hair is just kind of gross to me. So anyway, I will also put a link down in the description box for this mop. This thing is so awesome and it makes me not even mind mopping, mopping anymore. So I thought I would show you a couple of the things in my bathroom that I have organized. This is something I'm gonna be working on because it is not organized. But up here I have all of my, this is my shampoo and conditioner. To keep it there because I wash my hair in the sink. Anyway, this is my Bath and Body Works like small products, small lotions, bath gels, hand sanitizer, and then move this. Behind it are more containers. See, I've got my hand sanitizers. More containers back there, and that is just travel size stuff. So anything that's travel size is in here. I'm kind of addicted to bath gel. So I have a little cart in here and this is where I keep all of my bath gel. In this drawer I have hand soap and these are some new things I bought. This, oh, and um, body spray. Anyway, bought some of those things at this most recent Bath and Body Works sale. And then down here, I have more hand soap. This is hand soap for the whole house, so not just me. This is under my sink, and it's semi-organized. It's so dark back there, but anyway, 
Carl and Ernst here, and then some base products here. Um, I don't really know what that is. Probably need to go through here and declutter. This is my makeup drawer, and I have these two um, metal, I guess, like kitchen utensil um, trays. And then I bought these two little wooden trays from Dollar, Gen or Dollar Tree. So I have stuff in there, and then this one also. Probably need to go through this and declutter, but before I put everything in here, I decluttered. Now, one tip that I can give is whenever I put on my makeup, I open my drawer, take out what I need, close the drawer, do my makeup, open it back up, put it back up. I don't usually have my makeup sitting out um, on the sink. I put everything up once I use it. This is a little hack that I came up with because I have my um, outlet here and I didn't want cords all over the place. So I bought a basket and that is where I keep my hair dryer and the flat iron that I use the most. So when I'm done with it, just put it in that basket and you don't see a lot of cords hanging everywhere. This other side is my husband's side. His stuff is pretty, pretty well organized. This is the stuff he uses every day. Um, this is like extras of things. Then under here is pretty, pretty organized, I would say. We don't, before we moved in, we decluttered a lot, so we don't really have a lot of um, stuff. And then this is where we keep our towels and washcloths. There's the towels, which I have to fold. But anyway, that's up here is just extra towels. I'm actually saving these because I'm probably going to give them to my son. He needs some new towels. So anyway, and that is actually an empty, uh, empty cabinet. We've thought about putting our laundry basket in here, but I don't know. It's fine where we have it right now. So anyway, this is just an empty, except for those box of um, flossers that I got from Costco. Once again, I would just like to thank Penny for hosting this collaboration and make sure that you go check out her channel. Go check out the playlist of all the other co-hosts that are giving you tons of cleaning and organizing motivation. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Click the subscribe button, click the bell button so you don't miss any of my videos and give this video a big thumbs up because it does help me out with YouTube. And if you are needing more cleaning and organizing motivation, then you can click on one of the boxes you see now. I'll see you next time. Bye.